Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode, we are going to be going over how I customize my MacGyver multi-tools. So stick with me. Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Like I said, I'm going to be showing you how I do what I do as one of the little small facets of for my business. And one of the facets of that are my MacGyver multi-tools. Now, for anybody who doesn't know what a MacGyver multi-tool is, you clearly do not follow me on Instagram. <laughs> so uh, it's a design I created about two years ago and a little over that now. And this one's made out of titanium and that is made of copper. And I will put all the tools and links and what it does down in the description box below because I want to keep this video short, sweet, and to the point. But um, this one is made out of titanium. It has a very nice flared hellfire anna. It's what I dub it when I put a very extreme, very volatile color pattern on it. And this one is the one we're actually going to be going over today. Is basically how I mod and create the Deadpool inspired patina. Now it's a lot of fun to do. Um, there is some pretty intense work that goes into this and if you're not careful and pay attention to what you're doing you can ruin this thing pretty fast. So without wasting any more time let's get to how I modded this tool. As you guys can see I do a lot of weird weird crap in my kitchen and the prepping and the cleanup is just insane. Um, afterwards because of the chemicals that we use but for the patina for a copper MacGyver tool now this one happens to be a Deadpool inspired theme um, this one is actually being made for a really good friend of mine um, you guys might have heard of his website um, his website is called Glockmeister they do a lot of um, EDC like basically Glock um, accessories they do amazing stuff from all their mods and accessories that you can put onto your firearm it's just amazing anyway I'm gonna jump to some footage and kinda show you in time-lapse photography how I kinda set this all up and get in the fuel chamber Now what I'm going to be doing is I have the pl my plate, take the yellow mustard, there we go, looks like enough. Place it back on there and I'm actually using a really crappy 10 cent paintbrush. So I'm going to be going through here and coating the inside of the Deadpool kind of logo. I think it'd be kind of cool for like one side for this to be a little more darker and sinister than the rest of it because most of this is going to end up with a black to light green blue bluish white you know patina so the mustard is actually going to patina itself in a totally different concept with the mustard seed and the vinegar it will provide tans, browns, black, a few different other colors, and hopefully if we do this right, it'll give you, a, you know, a variation of color. So don't be afraid to apply it on decently thick. Just don't go completely crazy. That seems like enough. And maybe something we can do into it is draw some weirdness in there. You know, just draw some patterns doesn't have to make any sense to anybody else doesn't have to make sense to you it's totally okay that it doesn't some of this will end up getting scraped off anyhow so don't take it too seriously it's all kind of an art form for fun so let's call that a day. 
So that's more or less what it looks like right before it goes into the fume chamber. Now that it's all set up, I've got everything soaked in there. Ugh, it smells bad. Probably turn on this fan. Whew. But go ahead and we're gonna close up the fume chamber. And to secure it down, since I won't have to move it for several hours, I'm going to go ahead and tape this stuff down so it doesn't just dislodge on its own. The first 25 minutes is up, so we can go check inside the fuel chamber and it smells gonna be, woo, yeah, really strong. And we'll go check and see how it's progressing so far. Now, the beginning stages of that is progressing really, really nicely. So what we'll do is we'll periodically be adding this every half hour or so for the next eight hours and we should have a really nice finished product. And it's as simple as one little spurt there, then around the back side, another spurt there. Put the cap back on and let it sit for another 25 to 30 minutes and we're good. All right, as you can see, we have pretty good coverage. It's been a couple hours, so it's off to a really good start. I'm going to give it a few more sprays over the next 30 minutes or so. Keep letting it sit. And here in about 4 hours or so, it should be ready to go. Alright, it's been several hours since then. We have really awesome coverage. So I'm going to actually take it over to spray here to the sink. We're going to rinse it off. Now with the water, you want to put it under the water pretty immediately. Be very gentle when you're removing all these all of the patina from the mustard. Now it's all wet. Now the way it's now the way it is on the paper towels, you want to sit here and press down, kind of firmly but not too hard. You don't want to rub. That'll start lifting. You'll see a little bit of patina come off. That's totally okay. Not a lot will transfer over. We'll turn it face down, get it on all the dry parts again. Then you'll start to see more of the color starting to pop out. It's starting to look pretty dang cool. You'll see some of the color starting to come out on it but I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit longer to let some of the water spots come out and then we'll remove the decal and we'll be all awesome. You can see it's mostly dry. I don't have the best light. I apologize. So I have the decal removed. It's looking pretty sweet so far. So I know where the skulls and the handwriting are. So I'm gonna move this a little more comfortable. And I'm gonna do this right here just to take a little bit of this off so we can start seeing the outline. Now for you, you're like, well, what did you do? You just dulled it. <laughs> but if you look right here, there we go. Now you can see the Deadpool logo right there. So that's looking pretty dang sweet. I'm pretty excited with that. Now, the magical touch with, this, with the patina is to actually protect it with a clear um, protective finish. Now, what I like to use for my stuff is a gloss clear coat due to the fact that it is more resistant to chipping. So this will last a lot longer and when it's in the pocket and do wear and tear, the actual design will last longer. Now, 
as you guys can see, I've let it dry overnight. But as you guys can see, it looks really freaking cool. I'm very happy with it. It just has a really cool patinaed look. I was able to bring out the Deadpool with the logo and if we go really closely, now I have bad lighting and I apologize for that in advance. But if you look, you can see all the little color variations, that oil spill kind of look that's in the eyes and everywhere and it helps the piece look really dynamic instead of flat and boring. And it looks really, really, really solid. And this is the flip side. A nice sunken treasure kind of vibe to it. Looks really sweet. But yeah, so I don't want to damage these pieces too much or fondle them too much because these are actually for uh, customers. So this is the, uh, like I said, this is the Hellfire Anno. Uh, reflects the light really, really nicely. And yeah, it looks a little rustic, but haha, Hellfire Anno. It's not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to be very bright and vibrant, yet grungy and dark at the same time. So it's made of titanium. And for that particular look, this is what I use. This is my torch, which is a lot of fun. Um, on other occasions with different designs that I use for titanium, I will use my electroanodizing machine and I will achieve a much more controlled look, but in this instance, I liked the very crazy and unpredictable nature of the flame look. I thought it was very aggressive and it looked really damn cool. So yeah, that does it for now. Hope you guys like this video and put a really big thumbs up on it. Let people and myself know this is the kind of content you guys want to keep seeing. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I had fun uh, modding and making this stuff in front of you guys today and definitely share and subscribe to this channel so you guys can see more awesome videos of me doing what I do and all the test and review videos that I'll be coming out with in the future so that does it for now I hope you guys have a wonderful day uh, I'm out